Hey guys, how's it going? Wanted to make a video here. This is my Makita battery powered 12 volt power box. Uh, the only output I have is a single 12 volt cigarette lighter uh, power port. Um, so it starts off with uh, an Apache 2800. Uh, it's a knockoff Pelican case you can buy from Harbor Freight for about 25 or 30 bucks. Um, added some real cheap battery level indicators. Um, on the front here, uh, this is a battery disconnect switch that you get from Harbor Freight for about six bucks. So, on the inside, we have, for now, there's four, but there's room for four more batteries. Uh, these are, uh, I think they call them Power Wheels adapters. It's just a just two for 15 bucks on Amazon. It's cheap knockoff Makita. Um, the battery adapters. It just has two wires coming out. So I have those all wired down to here. And that's where I have diodes. So it's not, they're not back feeding each other. So all the, all the grounds are tied together. Uh, all the powers go to these diodes and then into individual fuses and the supply side of the fuse panel goes into my buck converter and that'll convert uh, the 18 roughly 18 volts of the batteries and knock it down to about 12.7 volts I have it set for uh, this one's a, this one will do 15 amp output and it's adjustable uh, by turning that little flathead on the potentiometer so all the all the grounds from the batteries all come around and they go to the bottom of the lug for the battery switch and then when you turn it on it provides uh, all the grounds uh, to this buck converter so basically this this battery switch is just cutting all the grounds and in doing so on the battery side of the diodes I have them coming up here so each uh, each of the battery level indicators corresponds to its own battery that's below it so if I put this in here it's 5 amp hour I just have one I just turned the switch on so it's got they come with these little keys so now that one's lit up and I can tell I can tell which one is where based on if, you know if one's if one dies on me or one's getting low I can it's all hot swappable and that's the beauty of those diodes so they're not gonna the, the batteries aren't gonna try to power each other so if I have three that are almost dead and I put a brand new one in it's going to try to equalize the voltages so that's why I put those diodes in those are 15 amp rated each on the diodes <clears throat> so I have 19.9 volts coming in and 12.7 going out and the purpose of all this and I'll just show you if you turn that switch off and you lose the the 12 volt output so the, pur the purpose of all this was when I go to the beach, when I go to my friend's pool, when I go to work, I was running uh, my Iceco 12 volt uh, refrigerated cooler off of the batteries I use all the time because it's, I already own them. It's a, it's a free power source. So wraps up in a nice little package. It's not waterproof anymore, but um, does a does a great job. It's easy to, easy to carry around, and as of right now, I'm using. If you saw any of my other videos, uh, I have a solar powered truck toolbox. If you haven't seen this, go check out those other videos. So I have a 2500 watt pure sine wave inverter, I have three AGM batteries, and it's wired to a Victron MPPT solar charge controller. And then I have the 12 volts of the batteries, uh, I have a 12 volt outlet 
from the batteries into the cab of the truck for unlimited power basically to uh, my ice cold cooler that I just leave in the truck all the time. So when I need portability, I can just, it has a 12 volt outlet, plug it right into here. When I don't need portability and I just want to drive back and forth to work or job site, uh, the ice cold cooler just stays fully charged off the solar panels and everything. And if I need both, I can charge the Makita batteries off of the solar, off the, off the inverter, and then hot swap them as, as they're charged, just hot swap them in. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe if you found this helpful or at least interesting to everyone else. Smash that dislike button and tell me everything I did wrong in the comments.